So today's Japanese slang term is gainen. Now in normal Japanese, whatever that is, gainen just refers to a concept or an idea. But in the slang world, it is part of oshikatsu, or the activities you do to support the person or character that you're a big fan of. So in this realm, a gainen is an object which reminds you of, is connected to the idea of uh, the person or the thing, the character that you're a fan of. So for instance, in this picture here, when someone talks about an Itasha, or like a cringe mobile, a car that's been decked out in anime stuff, uh, being full of gainen, they're not saying it's stuff full of ideas, they're saying it's stuff full of items that link to uh, the character that the person is a fan of. Note that throughout this video, I'm gonna show you a lot of different characters, I don't know who any of them are, so apologies if they're your favorite, uh, I, I don't know any of their names. So gainen is then an object, and indeed, it's often used in combination with another word to refer to a specific type of object that evokes, again, the person or the thing that you're a fan of. For instance, a gainen akuse is an accessory which has that kind of gainen link to whatever you like. In this picture here, you can see someone talk about their oshi and the gainen akuse that link to that person being displayed in these boxes. Again, I'm not sure who the characters are, but the colors here, the shapes, somehow these are linked to the person. It can be very, very subtle, right? It doesn't have to be an object that has the show's name or an object from the band or anything like that. It just, to you, is linked there in some kind of way. For instance, here you can see the term gainen guzu or gainen goods, uh, objects, just things you buy, being linked to a character and you have a doll of that character, but then also just uh, strawberry shaped things for whatever reason. I'm not sure if there's an actual connection in whatever show this is from. Either the color and or the strawberries themselves are linked to that character for the person, so they become a gainen uh, for the person that's posting that tweet. And here, for instance, you can see Gainen Guzu for what I assume is a fan of Sherlock Holmes. It's not really stated, but some kind of detective character is being linked through these detective items. So I guess I suppose a key point then is that none of these look really, really official. They don't have logos on them. They don't clearly tell you where the character is from. It's not actual merch. It's just items that you want to have because they remind you of the people or characters that you like. That said, I should note that Gainen Guzu can just be a item that evokes something. For instance, in this picture, they're talking about a banana-shaped item being gainen guzu, and it's clearly not linked to any kind of banana anime, it just reminds them of a banana. But generally speaking, this use is quite common. And you can even see it combined with other kind of oshikatsu-specific terms. For instance, an oshikappu is a shortening of oshikappuru, which would be a, a two people that you like and you kind of ship together. It doesn't have to be a real relationship, it just can be one that you like. And you can have oshikappu gainen, or something that combined reminds you of that coupling. Uh, here, Again, I have no idea what the characters are, but these two products remind the person of their Oshi, or maybe perhaps the dogs are the Oshi of the person. And there's also plenty of examples, like the one you can see here, where people talk about even going out and buying two drinks uh, as part of their Oshikatsu because the pair of drinks is a gainen for their Oshikapu, as in they imagine the pair of people that they're a fan of drinking one of those. Since a lot of these are at coffee shops, it's certainly a very highly caffeinated way to do your oshikatsu. But hey, at the end of the day, there's very little out there that's harder to do than proper oshikatsu. The only thing I can think of is coming up with a good ending to these videos. See you in the next one.